Inside the cage tonight, this bout is sponsored by Phil's Feel Supreme CBD Oil and Natural Nutrition. Now, we are scheduled for three, three-minute rounds of amateur action in the lightweight division. First, in the red corner, making his amateur debut tonight, representing Gracie Barra Derby. Make some noise for Jared Annabelle. And his opponent in the blue corner with an amateur record of a single win, no defeat, representing SBG Bishop Auckland. Give it up for Glenn Jardine. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, with our sixth fight of the evening. Sticking in the lightweight division in the red corner, in the black shorts, we have Jared Annabelle from Gracie Baja in Derby. And in the blue corner, in the white shorts, Glenn Jardine from SBG Bishop Auckland. And I am looking forward to this. These both guys look like they want it. And uh, Jared looks massive. He does, right? <laughs> yeah, well, it's not just me. I mean, everyone <laughs> looks big to me, but. Oh, beautiful takedown there from the. Uh, from the kick, but he's got himself caught in a guillotine. I uh, see it, Annabelle jumping on the uh, guillotine, but he just pa he's passed to the wrong side here. That's there, uh, Jardine. Got a smile there from Jared. Let go of the guillotine now. And he stepped over into that BJ Penesk <laughs> pass. <laughs> that was a mouthful. Yeah, Glenn Jardine, he uh, comes from a good gym, so I think he's, uh, he's going to be calm in this situation. But saying that, so does Jared Annabelle. You can't call it nowadays, mate. No. It's all it's all madness. He just steps over into side control now, up against the cage, right in front of us, Danny. So uh, for beating Jared with the feet up against the cage, what does he have to do? Wow! He, well, he just did it. <laughs> 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 he walked up that cage and he flipped over and nearly took his back. Did it before I could get the words out of my mouth. Very athletic there from Annabelle. Glenn's right in his corner now. Oh, beautiful Ooh. hip toss there from Jared Annabelle. Beautiful hip toss, outside leg trip, whatever you want to call it, it worked. It definitely worked. He's landed in side control now. And he looks very comfortable in side control. I'd like to sit. I'd like to say that he's um, probably putting a little too weight over the top of, uh, a little too much weight over the top of his man, but you know, he seems like he's got a solid base, and if it works for him, we'll mind to say anything. Yeah, and he, he keeps looking over at his corner, so he knows that they're there, he can hear them. And I think, you know, coming from the Gracie Baja, they're going to know what they're on about. So oh, uh, look at that there, kids. Here we go. That's shoulder pressure 101, making his opponent look away from the side. He's got side control. Again, head manipulation. Your body will go wherever your face looks. Yeah, Jared's looking, uh, Jared's looking very calm. Uh, Glenn Jardine looking to, uh, you know, bump and round, bump and move from the bottom. Here's some Yorkshire trivia for you. In Dewsbury, we call that the Dewsbury Moore shoulder of justice. Dewsbury. <laughs> right, that there, that shoulder pressure to the jaw. That's almost as good as the Wakefield necktie from Oscar <laughs> Owensworth. <laughs> a little bit of a scramble there created by Jardine. Jared and, uh, is swinging down, beautiful leg kick. Ooh. Oh, and he takes him again, back to the feet. We have a fight! Then Jardine swung with everything then, missed, and now Jared's taking the back. He only has what he doesn't have any hooks in, so Glenn Jardine can shake him off the top now. And he's oh. unleashing some. He's pulling them down from the skies above. Glenn Jardine needs to move. Last 10 seconds of this round. Glenn Jardine looking for a takedown. Yeah. Jared gives a smile to the crowd. He's very confident tonight, Danny. He is. He came in here cool as a cucumber, and he's having a laugh with somebody in the crowd somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> that was a beautiful first round. Very close as well. Jared came out with the takedowns and that last that last 20 seconds of the fight that's what I want to see more of oh yeah definitely let's put it all out on the line lads I see they drew a line in the sand and they went for it and uh, that was some exciting grappling exchanges initiated yeah. by both men there Jardine looking for more of the uh, I'd like to say more wrestling approach mm -hmm. if that's even a word we yeah just that's fine by wrestling me wrestling approach <laughs> and um, Jardine looking uh, not Jardine sorry Annabelle Jared, looking yeah. more for um, the technical you know the position before submission exactly. kind of stuff but he, he threw submission I think he's left submission in his uh, in his bag backstage <laughs> because he ran down some hellacious shots yeah there were some big round. shots and um, Glenn's taken them you know he's, they're, they're, they're going to be the biggest shots that he can throw 
if his cardio goes down. So Glenn's took the big shots, and you were right, they, they came from the clouds above. The <laughs> dead shots. Glenn Jardine's looking very confident, though, but saying that he hasn't got a big smile on his face like Jared. Jared looking a bit. I don't. I, he looks like a kid in a candy shop right now. He's, uh, <laughs> he's bouncing about <laughs> everywhere. To be, he's making his debut. He's one round in. He's going to be happy. He's going to be like, yeah, I, this is fun. Yeah, but let's give it another like two. Guy making his debut. No, I, I, I swear there's something in the water nowadays, <laughs> especially at Gracie Bar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go for the second round. Touch glove. Oh, that oh! was nice. That a was little bit cheeky. of unsportsmanship there. Doesn't take much to touch gloves. Oh. No, it doesn't. But those leg kicks are powerful. If we get back to the task at hand, yeah, we were, oh. were a very big, uh, very big leg leg kick. Put Glenn Jardine on his bum, but straight back to his feet. Yeah, bit low on that takedown. Then, if you're not gonna touch gloves, don't touch. Don't put yeah. your hand out. Yeah, we'll put it down to nerves. Yeah, we'll say that. Great turn there from uh, Glenn Jardine. He wants to drop down to his legs now, but the uh, overhook from Jared there stopping him. Yeah. Um, He's got that body. He has got a body lock, though, even though there's an over and under from, ja um, from Jared there. Oh, nice work from Jared. Very athletic, is Jared. He can uh, can move his body in a... Oh, and again. In a great way, but gets that hip toss. More of a drag that time, straight into side control. Look at the mark behind uh, Glenn Jardine's leg as well. Oh, that was uh, that was definitely that first blow of the round. Uh, We've also got a little... Uh, Little cut on the side of Glenn Jardine's head as well. Don't know where that's come from, but we're, uh, we're resuming guard from mm. Glenn Jardine. Jardine's um, done well to get his guard oh, back. Beautiful up kick, but very nice up kick. Jared with these kicks, he's doing a lot of damage with them. Oh, the kick from the <laughs> bottom from Glenn. I like yes. this. I like this old school stuff. I do that with uh, Jinkers uh, Jinkers on second. <laughs> that's a beautiful move. <laughs> And that cut just opening up a little bit more now, and uh, you know, it's not in a very no. um, compromising area. But you got to think when you see your own blood. It, oh, it, ooh. ooh, he looks, he looks close with that armbar. Yeah, he still movement. looks close. The elbow is on the inside of the hip. You know, he's doing the right things here. Is Jared to get out? He's trying to just maneuver that knee across the face but if he postures up that arm's going bye bye Ooh. and it's oh he's gone he's, he's nearly going belly down he's got the arm but oh, he's turned Jared the wrong way there it. well Jared's well, turning Jared's the right way, the right way yeah. yeah you're a glasses half empty guy aren't you <laughs> <laughs> beautiful work stepping across the side control there exactly the way he should but Jaline's creating all sorts of problems here Nice elbow pressure there um, as he steps across into a bit of a uh, modified scarf. Oh. And that there, Lovely. that there, folks, is a move that isn't going to be taught in most gyms, no. but that hair gets the purchase. You know, there's no slip, no sweat there stopping him. He's Jared. got a nice shoulder pressure and he's stepping across to mount. Jared was trying to complain to the referee about something there. I don't really know what it was. Yeah, I don't but think there's any. Glenn Jardine uh, any doesn't for, care. Yeah, there's no grounds to complain there. You're fighting till the whistle or the bell. Yeah, and that, that, that's just what happened. Complaining to referee about something there. Now, now this is the thing. Like, Jared has uh, it's his debut fight. Yeah, he's obviously wanting to impress. He's brought out a big, uh, a big crowd. Um, he's his teammates already been near and done the business. Yeah, he's now. He's get he came in here cool as a cucumber, yeah. And now and he he's came. looking very agitated. Agitated. Yeah. And 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 let's just um let's play both sides of the fence here. Let's say that was a bit of a cheeky uh, a cheeky move to start off round two. Yeah. Have you really got any rounds to, uh, any any uh I think he was saying something about he was hooking my mouth. Now it's hard to see because he went for that, you know, around the neck kind of uh, bulldog grip to yeah. roll him over, you know. It happens. I did not see it. We were right no, here. We didn't, I didn't, didn't see any see like fish hooking or anything like that, anything dirty. But, you know, you got to roll with the punches. If you're going to step in there and you're going to wear uh, boot someone's legs from underneath them, if that was the case, yeah. then you have to kind of roll with the punches. There was nothing nothing malicious there. I'll no. clear that up right away. Um, they were right in front of us, nothing malicious, and I think he'll look back and he'll see that. But in the heat of the moment, he's starting to lose his head. Yeah. You're a debut fighter. Take a deep breath. 
Yeah. Let's see if there's going to be a touch of gloves in this third round. I don't think there will be. But, no. uh, you know, Glenn Jardine's got that confidence from that second round that he did get Definitely. dropped straight away, but... No touch of gloves, you called it. Yep. Glenn Jardine had a lot of control in that uh, the, the last part of that third round. Nice leg kick from That's Glenn it. Jardine. That was a Johnny Wilkinson uh, <laughs> kick. That I like. Oh, and he misses again, and he's good. Jared is good at slipping that shot and uh, just taking the back, and he's unleashing some some power shots here to the yeah, side of are, the head. These are some big shots raining down from Jared. Oh, I thought he was going to look for a knee to the head there. Big uppercuts, and he's got he's got Jardine rocked a little bit. Jardine gets that body a lot, but there is an underhook there for Jared if he wants it. Jared looking to step over with his hip for the third time in this fight for a, for a hip toss. That's it. Now, Jared needs to clear his mind and he's getting any negative thoughts out of there because he's just going to be looking. Now, I know when, when you get into a negative frame of mind, you look for excuses. You yeah. look for, oh, he's doing this, he's doing that, and in the heat of the moment. Do you know what? Just Fair play. Play on and just do what you're doing, mate, because... He's demonstrating some skills. Some very good skills, and he's turning Glenn now. That's uh, it. Glenn lands on top. He went for a little bit of, a, I like to call it a suicide throw, and yeah. uh, he came off on the wrong side of that there. But he reverses the position. It was Jardine who jumped for a the neck there, and um, Jared, obviously, he's got he's got those, he's, he's got that um, ground cred credentials. Um, yeah, he wants to be getting up onto his knees or his feet here. He's, he's, he don't want to be laid out for one. That's it, yeah. Work his way past the guard. He, he was doing some good work inside control in the second round. Yeah. So he wants to be looking to get to a bit more of a dominant position before he uh, tries to throw any of them hellacious shots. That's it. Glenn holding his neck down, trying to control his posture. If I'm Glenn, I'm working for a submission all of this round. No, because this is a close fight. Jardine keeps on opening up those, and he was walking. I was just about to say he's walking that guard up his back, and he's roll for an armbar again. Some good work from Glenn Jardine. Very That's impressed. It. And you know, if we, if we're gonna call it here, he's been the closest to fighting the fight, uh, finishing the fight on two occasions now yes, with, uh, with his armbar attack. Well, this could be the second occasion. With his arm out of ten. Oh, he's postured up. And he's in the right position. He's, oh. He needs to get that thumb to the sky, but he says, nah, stuff this. I'm going to push it down down here and make it uncomfortable for you, kid. Wow, Jared's arms are made of rubber. And he's out. Look, <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> the crowd go wild here at the Barbican for AFC's first outing in York. I think it's safe to say they've impressed so far. Oh, they have. Both <laughs> guys here have impressed. And Jared's hellacious shots coming back down now. Beautiful. You can tell that's the third round, uh, ground and pound, though, because he's putting everything he's got into them shots. Oh, yeah, he wants to get him out of there. He wants to be looking to get a hook now uh, with his legs. If he wants to go for a submission, last ten. This is where you've got to go for it, Jared. You've got to make a statement here, kid. Come on. And holds it out. Ooh, oh, lands one right on the bell. Jared raises his hand. That was a very close technical fight. I mean, Jared did get a couple more of the takedowns, but. Jardine got the submission yeah, attempt. Exactly. And let's be honest, that second one looked awfully close. You don't know how it is when you're in there. Yeah, maybe me. maybe um, Jared were a bit like, you know, ah, uh, not, it's nothing. Yeah. You don't know what his arms are made of. Um, <laughs> but looked like rubber. It, looked, <laughs> it looked painful. It looked painful. So, uh, you know. So, it's know, a close fight. It's a technical battle. Yeah, definitely. And, uh, you know, Jared's made his debut now. So if he comes back again, we'll see if he can actually, you know, use them big shots to finish the fight instead of using them and then just letting go, you know? But in the long, in the grand, in the grand scheme of things, there is no real loser here. They both no. got three rounds against game opponents yeah, in the bag a, there. And that's going to talk for a lot when they advance through the career. It is, and we will uh, go back to the cage to Mr. Buddy Johnson. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for these two warriors. Come on. This bout goes the distance three rounds, and we go to your judges' scores. All three score the bout 30-27, declaring your winner by unanimous decision in the red corner, Jared Annabal. And show your love for Glenn Jardine.